me and the Grumlin both have a very weak. <laughs> you like very slowly go to grab around it and he just like kind of pushes you <laughs> and like manages to like step out of the way uh yeah so you can go outside um there's a group of kids eating their lunches uh, and that's, like, the area that you were getting the pings from. You don't see anything, though. Okay. Um, well, I'll go, I'll try to, like, go over and be like, I'll try, I'll introduce myself to them and go, oh, hello, I'm, uh, my name's Harry Dresden, uh, I'm investigating, uh, why you're all so scared, frankly. Okay. Is there, uh, do you, do you see anything around you, like, right now? Yeah. Can you point to it for me? Uh, they I'm all sorry. point to the same <laughs> spot. You okay. don't see anything. Okay. Is there? Is there's no one around that spot? I mean, it, like they're pointing to like nearish them. Okay. Can I? Can I do an Arcana check to see if I can see anything there or feel anything there again? Uh, you can the use the, the same investigation. Uh, I was kind of like mixing your investigation and Arcana together. Okay. Um, and like, all you're just getting the same ping. Like, it doesn't help you see anything. Okay, but it's the, the ping is coming from like the spot they're pointing at. Yes. Oh, look at the kids. I'll be like, what? It, what is it? Like a like a spider thing, or like what? Can you describe it for me? Because I can't see it, unfortunately. So at the same time, each of the kids. One of them says it's a spider. One of them says it's a snake. And one of them says it's covered in eyes. Okay. And um, they all kind of like look at each other like that's not what it is. And they start like kind of like fight, fight, fight. Yeah. <laughs> um. Really cool if we had like a spell or something that could see like you know invisible things sorry I'm looking at the spell right now just to see you mean the one that I just gave you uh, I was not thinking that one actually oh what were you thinking uh, I was thinking of trapping whatever it is in the magic circle but you can't. Why not? You don't have the component. Oh, what's the component? We just talked about this. It, it's it's uh like iron or silver powder. Oh, uh, right, right. Worth yeah, 100 that. gold. So like you have to go pick that up at some point if you want to use that. And it gets consumed. Man, I should have read this spell. <laughs> you just saw it and it seemed good flavor and I get that. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I destroyed the scroll trying to copy it? <laughs> you would have to be like, "Oh, you found another fairy fire scroll, and this one's indestructible." Well, I didn't even plan for that. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. No, that was a thing that you rolled for oh. on the uh, table that you got a spell scroll, and I was like, "Fuck yes, this is the time for me to give the thing that will be really helpful." <laughs> okay, uh, I will cast fairy fire. In a cube sure. where it is. Pew. Um, what color would you like it to be outlined in? Violet light. Should do like a you know the um, oh. the like wall hack uh red like outline that you see when people are cheating on like Counter Strike and stuff. <laughs> you must do a dexterity saving throw against your what you call it. What's your what you call it? Oh, my spell save DC? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's 13. Yeah, I rolled a 4. Um, uh, so, uh, yeah. So you see, uh, like, a little gremlin-like thing with wings outlined in violet. Uh, you don't actually see the thing, but, like, that's the outline that you see. Okay. Oh, my God, a giant cat. Oh, wait. Okay. You know! You know! Okay, uh, I'm going to fireball it. With, 
two L's or a T at the end. No, two L's. Okay. Don't worry, I'm an evocation wizard. <laughs> All the you're children not gonna blow up the it. kids is what you're saying. <laughs> what? The, I, exactly. The kid, the kids don't get hurt because of my school of evocation. So I'll I'll protect them so that they don't get hurt. Okay. So you but fireball I will, it. But I will fireball it. How does fireball? Damn, work? All these children are scared. I know. Let's cause an explosion. <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> A little trauma never hurt anyone. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 It'll just awesome. feel like going to school in the US. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. How does fireball work? It's a uh, range of 150. Dexterity saving throw. Thank you. Uh, yeah, dexterity saving throw, 20 foot sphere. What does it have to beat? 13. It beats it. Okay, it still, it still takes half damage. half damage if it wins. It takes half damage, the outline mm -hmm. disappears. What? Okay. Do, do I roll for damage? Sure. Problem solved. Let's go. I'm getting the sense that I don't need to roll for the damage, but. No, but it, I don't know. What kind of big damage do you do? Uh, Sorry, one sec. I don't have enough d6s for this. So. <laughs> Rem remember 17. Okay. Seventeen plus sixteen is the damage I do. So, so cut that in half. Something. So cut in six, half. So sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really <laughs> funny. Actually. Um, yeah. So you cast your fireball. Um, the outline disappears. The ground around it is absolutely scorched, uh, and is on fire for uh, roll me a d4 oh right I forgot about that fire is that only if he uses his staff or does that just a for, thing? for one for one round yeah. it is on fire um, I believe he uses his staff at, I mean I guess he could choose to not use his staff or is that like your magical folk um, I believe I guess it is my magical focus. Yeah, so you're I don't like know, always he has... using your staff. Yeah, it's kind of weird because he has like multiple, and he sometimes finds. Yeah, because like anything that's like protectiony, I feel like he would use his uh, pendant. For uh, he he also has shield the shield ring. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, shield ring. Yeah. You don't actually have a shield ring, but you have a shield ring. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. um so. Okay, so, so, there's so something... I want to point out the ground is now on fire. So did you actually do it within range of the kids, or did you do it outside of the kids? Well, it depends where the thing was. The thing would have been far enough away that you could like center it in a way that you wouldn't hit the kids. Well, then I would not hit the kids. Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure because would... the ground is now you're... on magical fire. You're you're like asking me, did you intentionally hurt the children? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, no, I don't no, know. I you, not. you, you, the person forgot that you, the staff thingy did the thingy. So, like, that's true. Maybe Harry forgot that the staff did the thingy. I don't know. Well, would the staff thingy count as evocation <clears throat> though, still? Or if it, if it's tied to an evocation spell, like how does that work? It's any time that it's a fire spell. So okay, okay. I think uh, a round's only six seconds, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, being on fire for six seconds would suck. But... <laughs> I don't know. It might kill a kid. <laughs> um. So I'll look. Uh. So I'll look to the kids who are still right next to me. I assume, right? Yeah. Um. Sorry, I should have warned you. Uh. Is. <laughs> so the is... the kids just watched you cast a spell to make this thing that they're terrified of glow violet, and then you set it on fire. That's what they've seen. Yeah. I'll look at them. I'll be like, "Is is it is it still there? Is there like a body or like?" <laughs> There's it's it's Did gone. I get it? <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Well, you're welcome. Um. Yeah. Kind of a hero. Uh. Saving children and whatnot. Um. Okay. It's gone. But there's no there's no body or anything on the ground. No. Okay. 
Um, I'll wait six seconds. And then I'll go over to where it was and, like, kind of, like, pat around with my hands and whatnot. Like, seeing if I can find, like, an invisible mound of flesh, I guess. <laughs> you, you just feel hot, crunchy uh, grass. Right. Okay. All right. Crunch, crunch, squish. Crunch, crunch. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> you you do not find a mound of flesh. Okay. Okay. I don't know what to do. All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you, school children. Um, I guess I'll go back. Oh, no, thank to... you. I'll go. School children. Did anything weird happen like a week ago? Do you know of like any of your friends doing something weird? Like maybe finding like a book or like a weird object or something. Or like talking to someone they shouldn't be, or like like anything at all. I'm trying to get to the bottom of where like these spiders, snakes, eyeball creatures are coming from. Uh, I need something to go on here. I don't. I don't think so. They just kind of showed up. No, no one like went like investigated like or like went playing somewhere they haven't before, like in a forest or something, or in the well maybe. I don't think so. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, glad I could save your life. Uh, let everyone know about the tales of Harry Dresden, and I'll head back to the tavern to meet up with uh, Truda. With Truda. Uh, Truda. Yeah. Um, while you fill in Latruda at the tavern, uh, I'm going to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fill me in at the tavern, eh? Yeah. I would, I would actually like a bit of a filling in. Like, uh, I heard the end of it, but how did it start? Did you go to the well or just the school? Uh, I went to the well and the school. Uh, found basically nothing at either of them. No help from the teacher at all. Uh, I am supposed to get a list from the teacher with a list of names of all of the parents who have children that have stopped showing up for school. Hmm. Um, so we can go, like, question them and like do more information gathering uh, you know, we should speak to the guards as well to see if there's any like missing actual missing children like, yeah missing, we could missing. do that I asked the teacher if there was like any like actually missing children and then they didn't seem to know which I, I kind of thought was weird because like that it's it's a, it's a small town it's like a one like it's not like a big school right there's like maybe 20 kids 30 kids maximum I feel like mm -hmm. if one goes like actually missing, like you have enough of an attachment to them as the teacher of the town that you would like recognize that. But I think even a shit teacher would maybe realize. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I feel like yeah, like I feel like in a town this big, like it's pretty. It's not. It's not like it's like a like an inner city high school or something. No metal detectors through the doors. Yeah. So, I don't hmm. know. Yeah. Then, I believe maybe we should uh, speak to the guards. Maybe that could be uh, our next piece. Uh, does this place do uh, rooms? I know the guy's napping, so I'm going to just be like, Excuse me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll come out from the back after a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Um, yeah, so he'll, he'll come out from the back. Uh, thanks. Um, the nap was quite nice. Uh, what can oh, I no do problem. for you? Um, uh, I'm just telling you, um, we're going to head out for just a short while. Um, we're going to speak to the guards, but maybe it could save some time. Do you know if any children have gone missing? Any people have gone missing? Don't think so. Uh, not no? recently, at least. Uh, what was it you asked, uh, Harry, before? You were telling me you asked them if there was, uh... Oh, has anyone read, uh, like, been doing any... Uh, found anything they knew? Like, a book or some objects or something that seems strange? Don't yeah, so. yeah, I was looking for, like, any objects. Hmm, strange. Okay. Well, uh, just an update. Apparently, Harry has already killed one of the monsters, so... Possibly? Yeah, I'm so... not sure. I couldn't find anything. 
the monsters are actually real then? As far the as I can tell, there's a... Um, sorry, Lichard, I'll take over from here. Uh, <laughs> but I, I did do... A, I'm a wizard. I'm a professional investigator wizard. Uh, and I was doing, like, a, a magical scan for anything in the schoolhouse. And I did get, like, a ping uh, from outside. And it was from um, a location all of the school children. I couldn't see anything, but all the school children uh, corroborated that there was something there where I was getting the ping from. Uh, I used the spell to, like, show it, kind of like throwing, like, ink over it, kind of, but, like, magical ink, and it showed, like, an outline of, like, a gremlin-y, like, creature. Um, so then I blew it up, and uh, the school children were very happy that it was gone, uh, but I could not find, like, a body, invisible or otherwise, at the source where I cast the blow it up spell. So that's that's how that kind of went. Okay. So, it, it does seem like there was something there, if your ink caught something. Yeah. But, like, also it's kind of sus that you didn't find, like, a thing after. Yeah. But, I mean, the I don't, yes, I don't know all the creatures in the world, so... The, the monster is real. Well, mon monsters, maybe. Oh, yes, good point. So, yeah, well, sure. <laughs> we're talking to a guard right now. That's who we're talking to, right? No, the tavern keeper. Oh, tavern keeper. Okay. Yeah, I was just asking before we went to the guard if they knew anything about like something weird going <laughs> on, and then we'll head to the guard now. Let's go talk to the guard people. So are you just going to like find a guard happens? that's like walking the streets or are you going to try to find like op shop? Uh I will ask the patron. Is the is there a guard tower a barracks nearby? Uh what where, where do they stay? Sleep, take reports? <laughs> um <laughs> I probably just like the town council area is the best place to to like definitely find somebody and we'll give you directions to there uh, but like you could also just find them walking around the town uh, do they have a specific uh, garb like uh, what do, do they dress different or are uh, they just armored people they're, they're armored yeah okay uh, thank you um also, rooms. Do you do rooms here? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, me and Harry <laughs> will uh, be taking rooms for the night. Uh, two separate ones, please. Make one a double, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. It'll be three. I appreciate each. you getting a double room for me. That's just in case, you know, we're getting a bit closer on this road. Maybe we share a room tonight. <laughs> Uh, once again, I'm jesting. We are bodies after all. Not that that. that yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Sacre bleu. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you knew my language. Ah, may we put in? Put in what? Put put in? I don't know. Third base. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> I love that you made a shot out of that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so would you like to hit up the uh, the cop shop or just look for a guard? Um, uh, I think the cop shop is probably the best idea, right? Sure. I'd like so. to speak to their manager. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so you can head to like the city council town square room building thing. The square room. Yes, the square room. Um, and uh, you walk in, there's a desk with the secretary sitting behind it. No casting spells on this one, eh? <laughs> okay. Hello? Uh, oh, hi. What can I do for you? Um, we are uh, traveling um, 
I mean, basically monster hunters. We are uh, heading up to Battersbury, but we've stopped here just to refuel, refresh. Um, and we noticed there's uh, a lot of tomfoolery afoot with uh, scaring the children. Turns out there is a monster. Um, and we're just trying to get more information. Is there a like a, a supervising officer or like a captain close by that we can speak to? Uh, there is, uh, but maybe I could try to answer your questions first. Do not disturb him if we don't have to. Uh, very well. Are there any current missing cases of uh, younger children? No. It just, just no? There never <laughs> has been. There's no current missing children cases. I'm not sure what other information I could provide as an answer to that question. It was a yes or no. Okay. It, it was a yes or no. But, uh, you, uh never mind. <sighs> <clears throat> Has there been any child-related... Mm, that's a uh, risky... Um, hmm. <clears throat> Have there been any reports of, uh, you know, um, trespassing, uh, strange sightings around the school, uh, the well, or, uh, you know, anything wrong, like... Uh, I mean, any... lots of strange sightings from the kids, uh, mm. but it seems you already know about that. Um, nothing specific to, like, the well or school that wasn't also reported literally everywhere else in town. Um, as far as trespassing goes, the teenagers sometimes, you know, are found doing teenagery things. Uh, that's kind of what teenagers do, but nothing like out of the ordinary that they haven't done before. Uh, the reports, um, what was the first one? The first incident, instance of a report uh, for like the weird sightings or mm -hmm. um, yes. I don't know I feel like we got quite a few all at once um, and it was mostly just worried parents coming in saying that their kids were seeing monsters um, and asking us to like look into it more we haven't found monsters but obviously there's something going on um, perhaps it's a lack of magic uh, from us being able to find what we're looking for. Hmm. Well, Javier has already found one and uh, dealt with one. That's fantastic. Hmm. Um, well, yeah, and she starts like taking weird, notes. Though. Are but... you an officer of the guard? I mean, like I'm. A desk worker of the guard, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I was just uh, I was just making sure you know it it would get passed along. Sorry. Oh yes. I meant to no. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we we want whatever this problem is fixed. We weren't really sure that it was a real problem. We thought maybe the kids had like scared themselves into being scared. So to know that there's something we can do to fix it is amazing. Well, there is a um, a family that is uh, traveling through here. Um, their daughter has only been here a day and their first sighting that the daughter had was at the well in the town square um, uh, the, so you know it's happening to children that are just passing through as well it's not just uh, you know the children that go to the local school so I'm wondering it's obviously targeting kids um, is there been anything, you know, uh, people around, magic users that have been missing? Are there, um, no, not that I'm aware Has there been of. many missing people? <laughs> I, I feel like Harry is going to be a lot better at this. I don't know. I'm taking the lead, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I like, I, I've kind of getting no leads anywhere on this one, honestly. We've, uh, I, I did find like I, I presumably I found the one creature presumably killed it um I, I used a rather explosive spell on it 
and it disappeared and the children seemed happy it they they said it died but i don't really have any proof of that there was no body uh so it kind of just like winked out of existence or teleported out of existence i'm not really sure what what (laughs) what legitimate were you saying something i was just singing my body Oh. oh okay um but yeah, yeah, I don't know, like, I've, yeah, that was the only thing, I, I got a ping from it, I could, like, see it with my, my, my fairy fire spell, it kind of gave me an outline of the creature, look kind of like a little gremlin type thing, but, like, yeah, we can't find a, we can't find a source of this, like, at all. Okay, that, well... We don't think the source is the school or the well, it seems like it affecting children, so that, like, directed us towards the school, but besides that, we can't really tell. Well, there's nothing that really lines up time-wise with it, but, like, it's not like nothing weird has happened here ever. Um, We had some missing people, like, a year ago? That doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, like, that it would be a part of this, but... Almost to the day a year ago? Um, I don't know, like... Just around a year ago. I don't know what the date was exactly. They they found their way back somehow. Um, Ooh, who was okay, that? But, uh, it, it was... Uh, Ju- Julian um, was the one that uh, like left and found his way back. Okay. Well, maybe we should talk to Julian. Was uh, did Julian make a report? Oh, like, um, did, did he say where he was. I mean, there happened? there was there was a report taken, and we definitely talked to him when he got back. Uh, basically, he said that he was just walking along out in the fields, uh, and then was somewhere else. Um, and then the same thing happened again a little while later, and he popped back up uh, like a couple towns over knew where he was and came back home okay hmm. do we know where he was when he popped out or like when he when he blinked out like initially where he was walking like to where or wherever? he like went missing from yeah yeah okay can you direct us to that yeah okay and she will we should go yeah we should go check that out we should because maybe that's where the monsters are coming from. Uh, we are staring, uh, staying at the the square room tavern, just down <laughs> by. <laughs> you know, you yeah. know, you know where it is. Um, we are staying there tonight. Um, uh, the the owner seems quite uh, friendly. His his child is also having the same issues. Uh, so if there is anything. Uh, you need a hand with or if you want to send word for us or any updates in the case um we'll be taking this on uh, as as best as we can before we move along so uh, send anything there if if you don't know where we are okay sounds good uh, do you have any um seers or you know fortune tellers or mystics or anything in this in this town uh, you were saying you're lacking in magic so yeah, we don't really have any magic users. Ah, that's a shame. But luckily, uh, Harry is the best you'll probably come across in a in a long sure. while. Yeah, yeah, very I'm powerful. V- very grateful that you've managed to figure this out at least a little bit. Um, as far as getting to the place where uh, Julian went missing, um, would it be helpful if I like sent someone with you that knows exactly where it is rather than kind of like wild goose chasing it? Uh, it's yeah, kind of yeah, just yeah, like yeah, out definitely. in the fields. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I was going to ask Julian to come along with us, but if you want to send anyone, yeah, that, that'd be good. Perfect. Yeah, sure. Um, DM here. Um, it would be getting kind of late in the day, so I don't know what your plan is. Um, like it's not it's not like super far away from town, but I don't know how much time you plan on like spending out there. So it's kind of like early evening now. Uh, yeah, we'll probably not go out there. Well, I don't think Latruda would find it good to go out there on yeah. the same. I mean, I don't day. I don't know if the person the guards send with us would want to go out at night either, right? 
That's fair. So, mm -hmm. yeah, probably probably make a plan to do it in the morning. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And and maybe just mull over our notes and information Wait. and probably hang with the kid a bit as well and get see if they know anything else too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, head back to the tavern. Mm. Sure. We can do that. Cool. Um so uh she will send somebody to like meet up with you tomorrow morning uh to take you out to the place in the fields. Okay. Yeah. Um I am gonna I have a hard out in about twenty minutes. Yes. Just just a heads up. Yeah, I I'm keeping an eye. Um so you guys can go back to the tavern. Um is there anything specific you want to ask uh the child or Uh, does he live here? Uh, he li There's like a house attached to the inn, and he lives there. Okay. Uh, I'd like to maybe go with Harry to investigate the closet. That's where he saw the biggest of the monsters, the scariest. Sure. How many times can you do the sparkly thing, Harry? Uh, I can do it three more times today. Ooh, check you out, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Four slot. Yeah, so uh, Four the slot, barkeep Harry. will let you into his house um, to investigate. So you can go to the kid's room. Um, how big? Range 60 feet. Uh, it's the 20 uh, foot cube. 20 foot too. cube. Okay. Yeah. That's the actual important thing. Um, Ooh, plus one to any roll. Nice. Thank you, Gank. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to just use it on my walking check. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so you so you go you can go into the house. Do you want to check out like the whole house or do you want to go like straight to the kids' room? Well, I mean, I think is the kid here? Uh, like no. Well, if you want him to be, he could be. Well, I do want it to be, because if you can just point at the thing that's scary, it's way easier than us, like, investigating. <laughs> yeah, so he, he'll he take you to his room, um, okay. and he'll be like, I, I see them in the closet and under the bed. Okay, do you see Plus, any right now? There's a few of them in here. Sorry? Do you see them right now? Um, yeah. Okay. Can you point at one? He'll point into the closet and under the bed. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll use fairy fire. Can I hit fairy? Can I get, can fairy fire hit both of them? Yes. Okay, I'll fairy fire both of them then. Yeah. So, fire, fire. Uh, what color would you like them to uh, be outlined in? If uh, violet. And it's a thirteen that they have to beat with the decks. Um, so, in the closet, uh, you see two little gremlins, uh, um, okay. kind of, like, standing on top of each other, and that's <laughs> it. I'm gonna okay. run over and absolutely punt one of them, just as hard as I can with my, with my stump. Can I, can I run and try to grapple the other one? <laughs> um, yeah, sure. So, let's try to roll to hit. <laughs> okay. Oof, that is not that good, actually. I think it's like plus seven. Let me have a look. It's plus six. Okay, so 14. You hit it. Hey. Uh, and it auto crits. It does. It does indeed. I completely forgot about that. So that is uh Okay. So base damage is eight plus six. Fourteen. Fourteen damage. Uh the outline disappears. Um and then uh for Harry you're going to try to grapple, so it'll be opposed strength. Uh, I believe it's rolled a hit first, right? Sure, rolled a hit. Is it? I, I, I thought don't it know. was. 
uh, roll to hit is 13. Uh, it hits. Opposed cool. strength. Or actually, it was more than that, but whatever. Uh, okay, opposed strength. Three. Five. Um, so you do not grapple it. <laughs> We very I was weakly. like, I rolled so low. He's definitely going to grapple this. We very weakly. Wait. Oh, I can add a, I can add a one to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I got it four. doesn't matter, though. Hey, excuse me. Please don't bite me. No. Get him. Okay. Fight. 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 So me and the gremlin both have a very weak... <laughs> you like very slowly go to grab around it and he just like kind of pushes you <laughs> and like manages to like step out of the way Latruda looks disgusted by what just happened um, <laughs> so I guess we'll just keep that initiative order sure or okay. this are we able Bomb. okay <laughs> right? Yeah. Since, like, or we can roll for initiative as well. I'm literally just gonna bonk it. So. Um, so we'll give it its turn. Okay. Um, and it is going to... Get bonked. Um, you're going to see... violet glow where you'd think its eyes would be. Okay. Um, and Harry, I would like you to make a constitution saving throw. I make constitution saving throw? Okay. Uh, with advantage. Okay. Twenty. Nothing happens. Nice. Uh, and so it'll be Latruda's turn. Bonk. <laughs> uh, yeah, so bonk it. Uh, 17. It hits. Get bonked! Oh, five damage. It The outline disappears. Mm, these things are weak. Yeah. Is there... Look at the kid. Is there, are there any more? Uh, I think he he's points the back deck. underneath the bed. I'm just gonna lift the bed with one hand. Just be like, do the honest high. You still don't see anything. Oh, I, I'm just gonna start kicking around, stomping about, being like, "Tell me if I hit it." <laughs> <laughs> um, roll the hit with disadvantage. Ooh. Oh, 17 and 18. Uh, so, 20... Something. It hits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, a kick. Uh, so, it's 1 plus my strength. It'd be uh, one sure, it does. Isn't it 1d4? Or, or oh, it you, you, you hit something. And then the kid will okay. tell you oh. that it's gone. Ah, there we go. Uh, so, we, don't, we, we can hit them even without seeing them. That, that's a uh, very good information to know. Yeah. Well, it looks like this room's clear. Also, like a stiff breeze will kill them. Maybe we can like inform the, the town to just like hit it with a broom or like yeah, like just don't be afraid of them. That's yes, that is very good. I mean, can we just give the children knives? <laughs> I feel like this is a bad idea. But uh, we can we can inform like like as far as we know they aren't dangerous they just scare people like no yes, one's I been know. hurt no one's gone missing Wait, the, the, uh, the the glowy thing though it cast a spell didn't it what it tried what to was do that? something to me for sure I'm not sure what but did it, like try and take over your mind or freeze you up or did you feel anything uh, no I felt nothing right you felt uh, nothing yeah. I felt nothing yeah I always feel nothing. I tried, uh, yeah. I I feel like I don't know. I don't know what it would have done. Yeah. Maybe it would have killed me. 
Mm, I don't know. I doubt, I doubt it, that. But yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, um, I mean, I I stamped on it and it died like instantly. So, uh, do you feel better now, child? Uh, <laughs> child. Yeah, I I, I definitely feel <laughs> a little better. <laughs> Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. Well, I mean, you saw how easy we took care of the monsters. I told you, we were really good monster hunters. Yeah. We we killed a troll the other day in, like, I think it was, like, 18 seconds, something like that. Which was... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was good. very, very Solid fucking 18 easy. seconds, yeah. Mm. Wow. I, I think that might be a world record. I don't know. I think it might be, yeah. We are very great monster hunters. All right. Well, anyway, think... enough bragging. I just <laughs> put the bed down. <laughs> enough bragging. Let's go celebrate our victory. How does that sound? <laughs> Sounds good. Sleep well, small child. <laughs> I mean, we're not just gonna. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Just took took the kid in for bed. There we go. Night yeah. night, child. <laughs> I think his father may want to see him again. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll just like follow you back to the tavern, even though you said like good night. <laughs> but yeah, um, I feel like we should probably call it there because uh, yes. you you got to be gone in nine minutes and. Yes. Mm -hmm. I need to be out the door in nine minutes. So uh, basically, I've got eight minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> so I'm going to find someone to raid. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed our shenanigans and things. If you're hanging in the background, if you haven't already, please consider Ooh. dropping a follow. Uh, if either of my friends here want... Um, I've got, uh, I've got pretty, the things pretty impressed with our investigation skills today. Yeah, I felt very, I felt very detective-y today. It was fun. I enjoyed that. Mm. I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed like we're asking the right questions. Goalkeeper. Yeah. Maybe it's because <laughs> I had a coffee death before death stream death. started today. Hmm. I hmm. wonder if that's what it was. Well, I had a Red Bull and some amphetamines, so I mean, <laughs> I, it, oh, it, it takes me. a, it takes a bit. <laughs> that reminds me, I gotta go get a Red Bull. You do have to go. Why don't you shout that no, out while well, I find someone to read? Oh uh, yeah, in like a couple of hours ish, at some point today, uh, I'm gonna be doing a stream on my stream. I'm gonna be doing, uh, I'm gonna be doing a stream. It's gonna be, it's you're gonna want to see. It. It's gonna be interesting. It's, <laughs> it's gonna, gonna be, be very. I don't, I don't want to give away. Uh, I don't want to give away too much. Constant stream of red. Constant be, stream. Well, of here, red. you know what? Here's the teaser I'll give for it. I'll read out the title of the stream. Like uh, my poops recently. Don't Constant even bother break. watching anyone else. The Dubathon is the only place you need to be. I'm going to make winning look so easy. Hey, thanks for checking out Chicken D and D. If you liked what you saw, click all the buttons down below. Subscribe, like, comment. You know the drill. Thank you again so much. See you next time. Bye.